another episode of what you strap in and today i'm back on the um seiko sed 039 spirit jajaro uh, this has been a little bit modified by me um placing the swapping the uh chronograph pusher module that you see on the right there that used to be black with silver buttons uh, with one from a uh, SED 041 <coughs> which has the silver I just think it works better and this uh, for the record is not a review not at all it's just me uh, with my watch of the day and strap of the choice and today uh, it's 18 millimeters yes these are 18 millimeter lug space um, but it's fine um, it's a very standard NATO. Actually, there's nothing fancy about the construction. You know, double pass, but uh, the watch is relatively thin and, and small and everything. It's not a big deal. It actually works, I think, pretty good. Um, I've actually had this for some time. I believe it or not, I bought it for Rolex. I was going to try something different, but uh, it was just, that was a 19 millimeter, and something about it just didn't work with it. So I just, I finally kind of have a reason to, to, uh, use it um, and I think it works I think it's got this gives it a racing kind of feel and element to it um, at first I thought I was getting a you know martini racing uh, style of uh, NATO but it wasn't until afterwards uh, that when I looked at it again that I, I realized that wait a minute those aren't really the not so much the right colors. I think they do use some of these colors, but it's more like the the stripe patterns are different. They have more blue and thinner stripes. And uh, just look it up. You like martini racing for like a um, Porsche or something. Uh, you'll see those stripes on there, and you'll know what I mean. But regardless, I think this still has a feeling of uh, sportiness, anyways. And uh, yeah, it works with this motorsports inspired uh, or designed uh, watch. And, uh, yeah, and believe me, uh, these are probably going to be the tightest lugs you're going to ever try to squeeze a strap into, because it's very little. I don't know if you can make that out, but, um, it's just basically a spring bar, and it's like a s tight rectangular space right in there. Uh, but with the aid of 18 millimeter curved spring bars, uh, that helped to at least give that opening a little bit more, uh, space for me to fit a strap uh, in here. You could probably get away with a straight, straight uh, spring bar in here, uh, but I think in, I'm thinking you, you know, your uh, strap, or at least a NATO strap, shouldn't be that thick. You're going to try to run it through, and additionally, you you might need to, uh, you know, place the strap on the watch, uh, and or you know, obviously near the lugs, and then work the spring bars in after that and so it'll you know all keep together like that which is what i did but i suppose with the curved spring bars i probably and the thinness of this particular strap it may have gone just through pretty fine but it does have to make a pretty sharp right angle right past the spring bars and lugs to go down and then across i don't know if you can see that so it may not be as easy to fit it in and get that tip to angle down and then back out and pull the rest of it through. Um, just something to keep in mind, but it is doable. I know people try to work on a, a different strap options other than the stock bracelet that this watch comes with, um, but uh, it is doable. You just need to have the right technique and or uh, curved spring bars help out quite a bit. And so that's pretty much it. All right, see you in the next, thanks, bye.